sustainable fishing practices in the Indian Ocean and write a note on the impact of pulse sheen fishing. It talks about one particular type of fishing habit which is called as one second which is called as pulse sheen fishing on the fisheries of India. So this question has two parts. The first part uh, talks to you that you have to discuss the different unsustainable fishing practices which are already done there in the Indian Ocean region. This is part one done. Second part is you have to specifically tell that what is the problem with this particular pulse fishing which is causing destruction or which is creating problem in the uh, for the fisheries of India. Now this question, this question was attempted by a student and this question is for 15 marks. So when I say this question is for 15 marks that means you cannot go beyond 250 words. But uh, before even telling you the content of this answer, I will simply show you the length of this answer and how unsustainable it is. Now this is first part. Uh, the introduction is fine that in Indian Ocean region so much is the global wild fish caught all of that. So introduction is fine. Now coming to the body, when this child has tried to attempt the unsustainable fishing practices in India, bull trawling fine, needed. Then gill netting, all right. Then uh, fishing based on fish aggregated devices, as you can see here in the body, uh, it is talking about gill netting, fish based, uh, fishing based on fish aggregated devices. Then LED fishing, uh, mini trawling uh, near the shore. Now these are the the first part of the question that what are the unsustainable fishing practices which are uh, practiced in India or in the Indian Ocean region. Now you have to understand you have already used one and a half pages for one part of the question. You have still not started with the Persian fishing. The Persian fishing is not yet started. It is starting from the third page. You will not have this kind of bandwidth when you are in the examination hall. The content has no issues. You have written very extensively, but you will not be able to finish your answer in time. And this Quest, a paper has this answer has not yet over this is going on till the fourth page and the conclusion look at the conclusion it is a half page conclusion you cannot afford so much space you might give a lot of information but then the time and the space and the word limit constraint cannot allow you to give a conclusion which is half a page so now let us understand the concept behind the unsustainable fishing and Persian fishing along with how to attempt this question in the most sustainable way. Now before going there, let me briefly tell you what is Persian fishing. As you can see here, this is a boat and it has literally thrown this net in that particular region so much so that all the fish in this region will get caught. Now this includes turtles, it includes whales, bigulas, even the uh, species or even the wildlife which is not required. So what is the harm in this kind of fishing? The harm is over fishing. All right. Even the eggs get caught. Juvenile or small fishes get caught. And these fishes mind you are not even sold in the market. They are called as useless harvest. They are not even sold in the market. Even the endangered or protected species. Now, when you throw a net in the sea, it does not make a discrimination. Okay, this is a beguala, this is a dolphin. I should not catch it. This is a shark. I should catch only the fish. So, even the endangered marine, uh, uh, you know, wildlife gets caught in the middle and it is over exploitation of the resources, over fishing, over harvesting is done. It is not economically useful. It is not that it is going to give a lot of money to the fishermen also or the company also and also you are depleting the biodiversity and the overall resources of the marine ecosystem. So this is what purse sheen fishing actually is. Now coming to the answer I will be telling you uh, different types of fishing methods via uh, such pictures so that you get a clear picture in your mind so that even if uh, this question or this kind of topics come in some other way 
you have the content with you so now coming to attempting this question now discuss the current uh, unsustainable fishing practices in the introduction the first part has been attempted very well substantiated that indian ocean region accounts for how much 14% of the global wild caught fish so this is the data on how much fish is caught in the indian ocean region okay according to united nations fao that is food and agricultural organization 30% of the fish stock in the indian ocean region are fished beyond sustainable limits now what do i mean by sustainable limits that they are overfished to an extent that they will not be able to regenerate themselves and over the time a certain population or breeds or biodiversity will be lost forever now very beautifully you can actually make this diagram of indian ocean region now this is indian ocean region which records uh, you know a high fish catch rather than the uh, global average now major fishing regions are the western indian ocean the western indian ocean uh, is this region and the eastern indian ocean is this region i'll just demarcate it all right so this is the eastern indian ocean this is the western indian ocean the fishing or the overfishing is a bigger phenomena or a major phenomena in the eastern indian ocean here because one the fooding habits the fooding habits the southeast asian region or the southern asian region has fish as a staple diet in the in, in their platter apart from that australia india southeast asia together Ha accumulates a huge proportion of the fish cultivation or fish harvesting comparatively the western indian ocean does not go or does not over harvest the region reason being there is less density of countries around this less density of population also in this region now coming to substantiating the part where it says that what are the harmful or unsustainable fishing practices so uh, i think the better way is to present this information in the form of a table so similar information is given but since it is given in the form of a table it is easy and within the word limit that you can do it is first being the bull trolling bull trolling or bottom trolling so what is bull trolling you drag a large troll net by multiple vessels for several kilometers and you basically bag the entire shoal the entire shoal entire shoal is the entire uh, harvest or the biodiversity or the animals in this region it is 3 to 4 times more efficient than your general trolling and it leads to rapid and unsustainable decline of the fishery in this region so i would like to show you exactly what it looks like so this is what a bottom trawl looks like as you can see uh, the entire uh, you know fish or other marine animals will get caught in this region i'll just yeah will get caught in this region these are warp wires and then it basically has the sweeping effect and a lot of biodiversity is lost a lot of fish harvesting is done using this technique now coming to other unsustainable techniques the second one being all right so the second unsustainable technique is gill netting gill netting is when you hang a net acting as a wall which leads to large number of bycatches including mammals which further affects the biodiversity and third one being using fads which is fishing aggregating devices fishing aggregated devices are such that they are placed in such strategic places that they attract a lot of fishes even to an extent of 10 kilometers so they attract a lot of fish and then a lot of fish they get caught at the same time whether they are required or not so let me just show you uh, what exactly led flash lighting is right so what do you do is you attach an led like this this is not a real fish you attach a led and sometimes up to the 5000 watts kind of uh, you know light is emitted all the fishes from the area they get attracted to this light and then they get accumulated around small fishes even die because of the intensity of the light and then the fishes are caught so this is how led flash lighting or fishing alluring is done now coming to impact 
all right so this is what led flashing is led flashing is when high capacity uh, led lights they attract the fishes from a different uh, from a very distant location and even the death of juvenile fishes they take place because of this it leads to the unsustainability of the entire marine ecosystem now coming to the second part which is the impact of persian fishing on the fisheries in india i would like to show you uh, these two things also this is this is a uh, gill fishing this is gill fishing in gill fishing you create a wall kind of structure and therefore it gets attracted and this is fads fads uh, you put a device and it attracts the fishes even the satellites are attached to it and the uh, ship it gets to know that you know so many fishes have got accumulated these are very sophisticated devices all right so these are very sophisticated devices it is attached to satellite also very complicated big trawlers or big fish uh, you know companies they use it they send signals and the fishes get they get attracted to one place and then they are harvested and this they create a wall like this and the fish they get attracted and they are harvested out so these are the different unsustainable methods by which fishing has been done now coming to what is the problem with the pearl sheen fishing Persian fishing, which was the second part of the question. All right. So uh, the negative impacts can be actually highlighted like this. We have already seen the picture of Persian fishing. It basically deploys a large wall of net around an entire fishing area. You remember I had shown that in which the entire area was, uh, you know, uh, it was engulfed in a net. What happens is it is very aggressive and commercial fishing method. and it is very very commonly used but what is the problem the bycatch of the non target species fishing beyond biological sustainable levels is done use of low spanning mesh nets so what it does is the blocks or the meshes are so small that even smaller uh, fishes and fish eggs they get caught in this and the abandoned ghost nets this is also a very big problem the ghost nets are the nets which are abandoned left in the sea they actually uh, you know you would have seen those pictures where a whale is caught within the net or the turtles are caught and therefore they die all of this happens and this leads to asphyxiation what is asphyxiation when uh, you know you die of choking so when the animals they die of choking because of these ghost nets that also leads to decrease in the overall biodiversity of the marine region so this is how you can substantiate on the ill effects now coming to the coming to the uh, conclusion in conclusion you can write uh, the basic conclusion of the answer that what has to be done the conclusion should always have a solution if there if the question is about a problem or it should give that what are the steps taken by the global or indian organization so here according to wwf which is world wildlife fund gaps in regulatory norms has resulted in the unregulated and unsustainable fishing remember i told you about the un clos so that was uh, in the microplastic if you remember in microplastics we talked about the united nations convention on law of seas so that is the major body which actually makes any kind of law regarding the sea but since there has been gaps in it the unregulated and unsustainable fishing has happened in the indian ocean region so all the indian ocean region countries should take urgent steps to address address these gaps and to realize the united nations sustainable development goal 14 so you should have these in mind on your tips so that you can use them in your conclusion so this was my attempt to teach you about the different unsustainable methods of fishing and to teach you how to attempt it in an answer you have seen the difference the first answer had more content had more examples but it was not a sustainable way of writing your mains all right so keep learning all the best keep studying hard if you have any issues let us know till then thank you very